we move on to the 12th topic that is multiplying polynomials this is a pretty easy topic if you know uh, the distributive property it is what we are doing now the, when there are two binomials we can use a foil method which we will see now foil means first terms outer terms inner terms and last terms now imagine we have these two terms over here first you need to multiply the first two terms in these binomials that is this multiplied by this gives you 2x times x then inner terms uh, sorry first and then outer after f o comes that is outer this is the outermost and this is the outermost term so o is the next one that is 2x times minus 3 then inner ones are these two over here very close to each other and they are the innermost ones 4 times x and the last terms are this is the last of the first binomial last of the second binomial 4 times negative 3 that's it simplify and you will get the answer so this is the foil method we will now simplify you can use foil method distributive method it's ultimately the same thing your answer will be the same let us see how to multiply this they have told you just multiply all these so take any two terms you can't just uh, multiply all the terms at once take two terms at a time the first two terms and multiply the first these two it'll be three times a plus 3 times minus 7. See, I will draw the arrows. It will be from here to here and then this to this. Then next one will be the second term with this and then over here to here. That is it. That will be the answer. 3 times a. Uh, sorry, that is not the answer. That is the method to solve. 3 times a. 3 times 3a times a. 3a times minus 7. Don't forget the sign. 5 times a that will be 5a and 5 times negative 7. Now you need to just simplify a times a is a squared this becomes 3a squared 7 times 3 is 21 negative sign prevails a will remain 5a minus 7 times 5 is 35. Then now you can simplify this term the a and a so it will be negative 21 plus 5 that is negative 16 so this is the answer. But this is the answer for these two terms. Don't forget the other term. Bring it down and multiply the remaining terms now. Now it's up to you. But generally when you multiply, if the terms are less on the left side, it's easier. Because we just do the arrows like this. Now if you're multiplying from the left side, it's fine. But it's better to solve this easily. This, uh, If you follow this method, it'll be easier. Now it'll be 4 times 3a squared. 4a times negative 16a, 4a times negative 35, same with 1, 1 times 3a squared, 1 times negative 16a, and lastly, it is 1 times negative 35. Then, you are to multiply this individually. What, what do I mean by that? It means you need to multiply this numbers together and terms together, sup sorry, separately, that's what I meant. 4 times a is 12, a times a squared is a cubed this minus sign will come out it'll be 4 times 16 is 64 a times a is a squared then again minus sign is there 140 because 35 uh, 2 times is 70 70 2 times is 140 so it'll be 4 times 35 4 times is 140 a 3 a squared negative 16 a and lastly minus 35 now you can simplify it now you need to add or subtract the terms how do you do it see for the degrees now do you have any other term with this degree of power 3 no but there is two see these are the two terms that can be solved together and then over here these are the two terms that can be solved together so you need to simplify those terms how do we do it's very simple minus 64 a squared plus 3 will be minus 61 a squared same way minus 140 minus 16 add them and write the negative sign minus 156a other two terms remain same this is the simplified form now if anyone asks you to multiply this this is how we how we get it that's it that's the most simplified form and now it's up to you pause the video now right now and try these by yourself these are simple easy now we did one of the most complicated one the three terms so if it's two terms it's very simple we know how to do it now say for example here multiply this over here 
than this over here. That is it. So same method, please follow it and solve it up. Over here, it's simple because there's only two terms and one term over here. So you don't, uh, you don't have to do FOIL and all. It's just multiply this inside. Two times distributed property will be 3p squared n or np squared minus 3pz. That's it. That's the answer. Whereas over here also, it's the same thing. It's very simple. Here also, it's very simple. All single terms. Now here, what do we do? This 17th one. Use the identity. I will write the identity. It's a plus b the whole square. I'll write this first. And you have a minus b the whole square. So it is a square plus 2 times a b. 2ab plus b squared. So this is the term for plus. Whereas if it's minus, the only thing is the middle part changes to negative. That's the only difference. Then all the terms are same. So now we here you have, sorry, this is 2, okay. I hope you understand it. Now a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, a squared minus, because of this minus, it's minus 2ab plus b squared. This is it. Now you need to apply this formula over here. We don't have a and b. We have a and minus phi. So a minus phi over here, the whole square. Now how do we solve it is? Just over here, wherever there is a, you need to write a itself. And wherever there is b, you need to write minus phi. Sorry, just phi. Because this minus sign is taken care of b is 5 so you need to multiply this by 5 plus 5 squared so it goes out to be a squared minus 5 times 2 is 10 a and here it will be 25 last term so that is the answer a squared minus 5 times 2 is 10 and a remains plus 5 squared is 25 this is the answer so these identities are crucial and important so please remember these identities now over here, all the other way, it's the same thing. Just multiply using FOIL method or distributive property. You're going to get the answers just like this. So please do solve them first and then check for the answers. Do the methods, do the steps because there is no shortcut method. There is no calculator method. You have to solve them by yourselves. There is few more problems over here. The same way to solve. Uh, very straightforward but there's one thing I want to point out over here that is this particular problem it is r minus 2t r plus 2t there are some th there is an identity that is a plus b a minus b so whenever you come across this particular identity or terms like this where, where you can see the same term in the first uh, terms of two binomials that is a and a and the second term is also same 2t and 2t but the sign varies it can be the minus and plus or plus or minus then you must must make sure you do this as this particular formula it is a squared minus b squared or you can multiply this and then ultimately you will come to this formula itself so this is not that that important because even if you multiply this, ultimately you're leading into this, so it's fine. But it's very easy to write this. It's r square minus 2t the whole square. It'll be 2t the whole square. That is basically r square minus 4t square. That would be your answer. See over here, that's the answer. Similarly, you can try the others. Now, uh, it's very straightforward over here, but let me just do this first terms. When you multiply, it will be x cubed multiplied by 2x squared. Okay, 2 to the power 2. I hope you know this by now and then all the other terms, right? But what is going to happen when you multiply, it's going to be 2, the constant. The powers are always added up. That means x cubed multiplied by x squared will be 3 plus 2, that is 5. You don't multiply the powers, you add the powers. So this is going to be x to the power 5. Now, whenever you have x2 and x5 over here, it's going to be x to the power 10. You're going to multiply. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, sorry. I just now told this and I only made the mistake. I'm so sorry for that. You add the powers. You don't multiply the powers. It's 7. 
I hope this is clear. Don't make the mistake I just now did. It's 5 plus 2 that is 7. Similarly, if you have say x or any other variable, it, it must be same like variables. Now 3 over here and 3 over here. You just add it up. It is going to be x to the power 6. So if you know this knowledge, you can easily solve all the problems. Do solve it by yourselves. See, just that over here, it's big. You need to multiply many terms. It will just take time, but it's very simple. Solve it by yourselves and then verify the answers. So that is basically the end of that topic. Next, we will move on to the 13th topic.